Ready, set, grow. Ready, set, grow. Ready, set, grow. What's up, peoples? How you doing? It's your boy, Gerald. And you in the middle of your week. I know you like, Gerald, you don't put videos out during the week unless you must have something that you want to convey. You normally put your videos out, if you do put them out, on the weekend. And you're right. You're right. You know me very well. So how is everybody doing? Doing all right? You got to mind me, y'all, because I'm starting my day. But that's not going to stop what I have to share with you. Because, see, I see your work, and it's priceless. So, y'all, I just stepped out the shower, and, uh, as I was getting between my toes, getting behind my elbow, getting behind that neck, the spirit connected with me. And I heard, ready, set, grow. See, this message is for somebody. Because, you know, not to take things lightly, you're starting to be made a believer. You're starting to move past that fear because you also understand that not to question God's authority. You're starting to see your environment shift. And at first, it started you. You're starting to get answers that are to the questions that are found inside your mind. And you're saying, how is this possible? When humbly, you should also say, that's God. See, now's the time, y'all. Now is the time that you stop with the self-inflicted punishment. You stop with this position of martyrdom. And I say to you, ready, set, grow. Yeah, I say ready, set, grow because, see, you've been in a position for quite some time. Oh, yeah, quite some time, and it was dark, it was confusing, and the sad part about it is you actually convinced yourself, convinced yourself that you did not deserve love, and you made choices that, unbeknownst to you, was to set you up for more delay. This delay can manifest in many forms, y'all. But one form that it cannot manifest is blessed. See, let me throw this disclaimer out right now. Because I understand, and I'm and I'm walking. I'm walking with you. I'm walking with you. Don't ever think you by yourself. Number one. Don't get caught up in allegory. For those that don't know what allegory, that is a story, an interpretation given by who's conveying the message. You know that's why I always say. Don't get caught up in a messenger, getting caught up in the message. 
because if you're finding this message, it's intended for you. Maybe there's something going on right now or have been going on that's been weighing on you like sediment. And you are one step, one moment for, from a breakdown. Let me tell you something, y'all. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You feel it in your heart. Every word that falls from my mouth, you feel it in your spirit. Because, see, it is time to ready, set, grow. See, I need you to, to be still for a minute. I need you to step out of your comfort zone and walk on faith. Now, to get back to my point that I was going to make before that came out, because I know that needed to go to somebody, I want you to understand something. <laughs> there are over 7.6 billion people on this planet we know as Earth, right? And everybody for the most part, is doing the same thing, interpreting differently, but trying to convey it the same. And guess what? Sometimes the message misses the mark. That's why sometimes it's required for you to be still. You're doing too much. And you know who wins out of that? Hmm. <laughs> Your destruction, your pride, your ego, and your pain. Ready, set, grow. Listen here. It is the 19th of August, 2015, y'all. For the next 24 hours, it's going to be that. So guess what? No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, whatever's playing out right now, it was divinely meant for it to play out. Did you hear me? Whatever's going on in your life was divinely meant to play out. Now, I know right now somebody's probably saying, Gerald, how can you come out your mouth and say that when you don't realize that I'm going through a dark period in my life. I'm I'm crying uncontrollably uncontrollably. You know, these lips getting away. And I feel like I'm not being heard. You are being heard. But the question is, are you being understood? You know how it is, Queens, I'm gonna use you for example. How many times you didn't align yourself with somebody and you get in a you get in an argument for those that have been in relationships or think they've been in relationships, which really weren't. Um, you always say this. He hears me. I talk, I, I talk to him, but he don't hear me. What's going on is you're approaching communication is being blocked. But there's a commonality in that too. I've come to learn this. See, there's a blessing there if you look a little deeper. The blessing is, see, if the person's existence did not matter, you would not waste your time. So you've got to be honest with yourself on that. Stop walking around saying, I don't need you. I know that needs to go to somebody. Stop fronting when you know deep down inside that that person, every time you look at them, your heart skips a beat. But it's your ego that divides your steps. Ready, set, grow. So now, y'all, we're in the moments, you're in the moments, we all are in the moments of looking a little deeper. 
haven't you noticed that we're on the backside, literally, of summer? 2015 will be in the history books. But more importantly, look at where you are now compared to where you were in the spring. Hmm? You see that, right? If it was meant for you to be, if for that, whatever you were doing in the springtime to be your reality, you would not be moved from it. And guess who brought you through it? Ready, set, grow. If you actually think that your position is to play the slave, you with that person, but they treat you like garbage. You know why they're doing that? They're doing that because they know they can get away with it. They're doing it because they know that you don't have a support system. And, and unfortunately, they're probably doing it because they already are looking at your parents. See, what did I tell you a long time ago? My kings, my queens, I told you, if you want a snapshot of who the person of significance is going to possibly become, look at the parents. That is a snapshot because guess what? That person's psyche is based off of them or the person that was most influential in their development mentally. It's no surprise. You can see the correlations in that. Ready, set, grow. But it's funny because, see, the devil think he has got everybody fooled. I'm going to keep telling you, y'all, the devil is real. The devil is real. Why do you think you're going through what you're going through? I know somebody right now is saying, well, Gerald, you're trying to make it seem like you're trying to make light of something, of my pain. No, I'm not. My king, my queen. Uh-uh. Gerald got much love for you. I pray for y'all all the time, and I don't even know y'all. You know why I do that? I do it because someone prayed for me. I know there are people walking around right now, you in your 40s and 50s and still don't know who you are. But you know how your sex drive works now, don't you? You're going to base your, you're going to base your, your, your self-worth on what you can do behind closed doors. For real? You keep playing with that fire and guess what's going to happen? God is going to reveal the one to you to watch you, watch your blessing be taken away. I wouldn't wish that on nobody. But see, that devil, he's the master of the stolen moment. He's the master of manipulation. He's the master of betrayal. And some of y'all are going through that now. Which... There's a caveat in that. See, one of the reasons why we go through what we go through to ultimately to be authentic to God. But how can you be authentic to God when you don't know yourself? Oh, you know that wood, though, don't you? Mm hmm? You're too busy in the mirror, plotting, scheming, and you're wondering why your heart feels numb. Ready, set, grow. Let me tell you something, y'all. 
if you have not figured this out yet in your life, you'll come to understand the people that are in your life are there spiritually, good or bad. If it's blessed, it feels like air. Excuse me. If it's painful, it's karmic, or what we know is a demonic influence. Pardon me one second so I can get my nose right. And see, when you look at your environment, you notice that there's a war going on. See, society wants to do everything it can to divide you from yourself. Excuse me. Because society only wants you to be a producer. Society needs you at all costs to continue pushing that financial gain. Ready? Set. Run. So, with that being said, bear with me. So, with that being said, if you will walk around unstable, you're not going to make sound decisions. Because it is your instability that has got you in flux. My queens, why do you think I preach the way I do when it comes to you? Do you not see a correlation every time that you're upset? You go out and spend money. You spend money. You spend money that ain't yours. Some of y'all are so bold and brazen, spend somebody else's money to be with somebody else. And that's nothing but instability. Because you are indoctrinating your life to somebody else's template. You are dancing to someone else's tune. You are marching to someone else's beat. You are someone else's slave. Ready, set, grow. And the question is, because I love each and every one of you, Why won't you love yourself? You're not going to find heavenly bliss investing in things that hold you back. Some of you have actually done this. You try to reinvent yourself. You go and get, get ink work done, and you ain't built like that. You ain't built like that, but to the people that you attract, because we always attract those people by the state of mind that we have. See, pump my brakes. Let me go back to what I was saying before, because, see, I also understand that God, my Lord, Jesus Christ, makes a way where there is no way. Why? Because you're worth it. And you deserve to, to have the life and blessings entitled to your life. But you got to take accountability for your life. You can't run from yourself. You can't jump in this bed to, to roll on the other side to get in the next bed. To turn around and go across the street and snuggle with that person you will see a correlation of a trail of tears. And you know what happens? Those people don't give two shits about you. You 
connected to them through frequency, which is nothing but the law of attraction, y'all, which is nothing but a spiritual connection that you're sharing. Some people, depending on if it's divinely blessed, it's one way, or it's a soul tie because it's built off of lust, because the difference between the two, one has love and one does not. So if one has love and the other one's built off of lust, guess what? The one with lust has no worth. You don't deserve someone to treat you like the bottom of your shoe. But people can't do to us what we won't allow. So the question should be, why will you not invest in your life? Get your life back. Get your life back. Actually, you never lost your life. You turned your back on it. And you know what's sad about it? And I see this all the time. Especially my queens, my flowers. My flowers. God's greatest gift to man was woman. But trust and believe this. If you do not see your worth, how can you expect him to? Hmm? You will never quench the thirst that is needed to fill that void in your heart by sleeping around. I know that needs to go out to somebody. But I know somebody's saying, well, girl, I got needs. I got desires. You know why you got those needs and desires? Because there's no love there. And so guess what? The devil has convinced you to ramp up your sex drive. That's why it felt the way it did. That's why it's so intoxicating and sometimes addicting. And you keep going back only to get more bruises, more scars, more embarrassment, more depression, ultimately causing you to look and question your life. Don't you realize the devil's a liar? Hmm? Ready, set, grow. So listen, y'all. I know somebody. You've been trying to figure your, your life out. And you actually have convinced yourself at one, at one time or not that you thought that what if you didn't live, what if you weren't alive? Listen here, don't you realize that's the devil talking to, directly to you? That's that demon that's in your environment trying to snuff your life out? Why do you think we go through spiritual storms? A spiritual storm is more or less like going, a, going to, and I'm just going to make this uh, bare bones. A spiritual storm is like going through a car wash for your soul. And all the rough edges. All the things that you have compartmentalized that have impacted your aura, because you have an aura, that have worn down your spiritual essence, which impacts the way you think, the way you act. That's why when you're around certain people, some people all they got to do is to breathe a certain way and they got you doing whatever. And some people have to more or less get an act of Congress to get you to say hello. Ready, set, grow. So, eventually, and I don't wish bad on you, but let's, but I will say this. If you're going through a spiritual storm right now, everything in your existence is being brought in question. Every action, every action that you've ever done is being brought in review and is meant for you to see. That is why some of you that may have come through your spiritual storm are starting to have the revelations and the validations for your life. You're starting to have questions that you had suppressed inside you being answered because guess what? Your angels, even the Holy Spirit 
himself is positioning you to be right where you need to be at the moment to see that answer. Some people know that is serendipity. Some people know that is synchronicity. Don't get caught up in the words. Get caught up in the message. Let me tell you something. You want your life to manifest the way you want. Then you got to get real with your life. Because reality is this. Do not think for one second. Er, put that on pause. Let me explain something to you, y'all. For my young folks. Under the age of 25, let me, let me throw this out there to you right now. The greatest gift you could ever do is invest in your life. Stop sleeping around. Stop. It behooved you to stop. Because what you don't realize is every time that you give your body to someone, first of all, you attract them in your life because you both share the same commonality of thought, which is carnal. But what you don't realize, especially my kings, listen, when you have an orgasm, part of your DNA is embodied into that person. It doesn't matter if you have a condom or not. But let's peel that back a little bit more. Part of your spiritual essence is inside that person. It never goes away. Never. So the question should be asked, is that person worth it? Does that person, has they earned the right to have that bond? Because that bond is forever. I ain't got to tell you, Kings, how many, how many times you didn't went creeping in the dark thinking that you can do dirt on your lonely. You go sleep with, you sleep with a woman. And you know darn well she's not even on your level. But guess what? You In your mind's like, I hope nobody sees. But guess what happens? Every time you turn around, she sees you. She puts you on notice. She makes sure you are acknowledged when you least expect. Why? Because you have a soul tie, a spiritual bond with that person. Why you think you feel the shame you do? My queens. This is the same. You turn around and you're using your sexuality to get through life like a canoe with no oars on it. You turn around and you align yourself with men 20 plus years your senior, people that will never marry you. They will never marry you, but they will enjoy sleeping with you. And they will and they will exploit you until you cannot deal with the embarrassment. Why? Because you allowed it. Why? Because that's what you wanted. Otherwise, it would be rape. So stop telling your environment, oh, I didn't know, it just happened. It did not just happen. Because you'd already you'd already decided to have sex with this person a thousand and one times before the first actual physical act. So guess what? You're lying to yourself. And every time you lie, you take one step back from the life that you are intended to have. That's why the one will not come. That's why you frustrated. That's why you got them sleepless nights. That's why your sex drive is through the roof, and you think that, well, you know what, if I just go get some, you know, there's no emotions in it. But guess what? Your spirit is. And you think that that person, God forbid, if they're giving you money, money for sex is what? What is it? You can try to downplay it all you want. The only difference is she walks the block. You walk behind closed doors. The commonality is you both don't love each other, so why are y'all together? 
why you think the internet is full of videos. There's a lot of them out there, y'all. There, there are millions of, I keep telling y'all, this will get you in trouble. I shared on, on social media uh, about two weeks ago. We lost somebody from my job because stuff that he had did came out because of jealousy. Yeah. Come on, kings. Women are not the only ones that are sloppy. You got just as many, you just got, you got just as many, just as many men, little boys. Come on, man. Your interlude is like a trophy to you now? Come on, dog. Really? Mm-mm. And guess what? That lasts forever. Your generations that you will never know will see you in a light of what's projected. Doesn't matter how good you are as a person. All they see is grandma getting it in. All they see is granddad getting played. Men can be Jezebels too. But society wants you to believe as a man to sow your oats. You know why they want us to sow our oats so bad? Because they know the more we build them up, the more enlightened we become, the more powerful we are inside spiritually. Come on now. Why you think boxers, athletes, are always told do not have sex before the event? Because your mind, body, and spirit is aligned. So guess what? Why you think that moment when you're embracing with that person, they've said this, ooh, I can feel it. That's your essence. But if you don't see your value, you see no worth. Everything correlates to itself, y'all. Don't get caught up in the words. Look deeper, and you will see a pattern. And the question should be, why won't you love yourself? So let me turn this corner real quick because I'm looking at the time. I want you to understand, for those that may be going through their spiritual storms, there's a reason why you're going through it. And guess what? Depending on if you do not get allow yourself to learn allow the spiritual transformation to take place, you can very well go back into it because that's part of you. The reason why we go through spiritual storms, as I said, is to break off the rough edges and as, as well it is a moment of spiritual accountability of your life. See, you're here for a purpose. That's why you always hear people say, each one, teach one. So if you're spending your time, your main focus is how I can shake her down, how I can get her to do what I want her to do, and you're not focusing on you, guess what happens? Your environment stays the same, just like somebody hitting a remote, hitting pause. But guess what? Until you, until you right all wrongs, you, you can't grow. You stuck. Why? You, I ain't got to tell you. How many of y'all seen this? You run into somebody that's connected to your life. And they've aged on you. Y'all might be the same age. Y'all might. They may be younger than you. But when you run back into them, it looks like time is sped up. Why? Because you're watching this person's spiritual essence be taken away. Their life existence is being cut shorter. Why? Because they're not living true to their path. So what I'm trying to say is this, y'all. For those who are in a dark place, there's only one light. It's time for you to humble yourself and have that relationship with God. Because your life is not going to get better until you do. 
point blank. You're going to continue to hold on to that anger. You're going to continue to hold on to that arrogance. You're going to continue to lie to yourself and your environment. That's why your life ain't going nowhere. Your life ain't going nowhere because you're not claiming your life. See what I'm saying? But more importantly, look at your circle. Look at your circle long and hard. It ain't no secret. Every time that you decide to step out on faith and try to do something for yourself, your, there's somebody in your circle connected to you, distract you. You know you got to study for that test, very important test. But that phone, that phone, they on the other side of that phone like, nah, don't worry about it. You'll get it. All you got to do is pass. But it's your life. And what do you do? Like a thief in the night, you jump in that car and go and get distracted. And it never comes to pass. And you end up getting the result from it. Now's the time that you have the courage. Stop lying to yourself. Now, let me turn the page. And I'm going to say this as sensitively as I can. Because I say everything out of compassion because you deserve it. If you're dealing with betrayal, it's because you betrayed somebody. Real talk. You know that. And now is your turn to learn. If you're in your environment and the people constantly lying to you, number one, they don't respect you because they don't respect themselves. And if they value themselves to see their worth, don't you think their environment should reflect that? So guess what? They don't see yours. And that's why some of y'all are being treated like prostitutes. Some of y'all are being treated like your existence don't matter. My queens, let me go back because you know I love you. You're never going to find love by constantly opening up your legs. You're not. The Mr. Right is not going to come. You know why he ain't coming? Because you're coming with somebody else. I know somebody needs to hear that. That's why you always hear this. Good guys finish last. You know why? Because you save the best for last. And you allow the things that don't matter to expose themselves. That's why you wonder sometimes how that person, you know who you're talking to, talking about. You dream about them all the damn time. You're dreaming about her all the time. And you go on, there, you go on social media and kind of peek through the window. And you get mad what you see because they smiling, they happy. And you frustrated because you know that smile didn't come from you. It didn't come from you because you didn't invest in yourself. But more importantly, you refused to invest in them. So guess what? They had to live. They had to love themselves. And they had to get their butt up. Now, all people can change. All people can change. There's this brother on social media. Um, I think his name is uh, Terrence Shelton. Beautiful brother. Got a beautiful heart and spirit. And he's a great motivator. And his position is very blessed. And everything he says, you should take heed to as well. Because I also understand that God will use whatever he needs to get his point across, even if that means he's got to take things away, even if that means if he's got to divide things from you to wake you up. If it was all good yesterday, why can't I get back to yesterday? You can't get back to yesterday because your blessing is in front of you, but you've got to go to it. But there's a price in that, now, ain't it? Because you already know what's what's holding you back. 
you're going to have to cut people out of your life. You're going to cut them out. Some of those people never deserve to hear you breathe, but you're laying right by them. They don't never see your worth, and you feel like a hostage inside your own mind. Why? Because you allowed it to happen. You you manifested this experience for your growth. But I believe that we all, and you can you can get through it when you have the courage to love yourself. My queens. Stop emulating and worshiping false images. <clears throat> Stop it. Don't you, don't you realize if God wanted you to have it, first of all, it's already found within you spiritually, but he will allow it to be laid before you the more that you lean upon him. Society don't want you nowhere near God. Society says, look, now, I want you to alter your body. I want you to play with your internal organs. I want you to not have pride in what God gave. And what's so funny about it, figuratively, is <coughs> you guys don't realize how beautiful you are. Well, you don't have none of that bullshit on. Excuse my French. That's that's just like you aligning yourself with somebody and you dumb down just to function. Why are you doing that? And you're wondering why you got the health problems you got. You're wondering why that physician saying, you know what? I can't give you an accurate uh, analysis of what's wrong with you, but take this pill. Don't you realize that pill is the one pill that is stunning your growth? You might as well be having sugar pills. You know, that ain't nothing but placebo anyway. You want to get your life back? Embrace your spirituality. Now, let's talk about that real quick, and I'm going to shut up. See, we already know there are Wolves in sheep's clothing. We all know that. We know that. But it's your responsibility, yours, to embrace your spirituality and relationship with the Most High. Not the person sitting at that pulpit. It doesn't surprise you that you, every time there's something that comes about, they splash it on the news. They do that so you can walk away from your faith and worship the devil. Oh, you don't need God. You need that money in your pocket. What is a man to inherit the earth at the price of his soul? Somebody saying, well, Gerald, I've been baptized. It don't matter. You think you can't go to hell? Huh? You really think that? That's that arrogance. That ain't devil. That's the devil. That's that pride. That's the devil. That's your ego. That's the devil. And at what cost? Your heart, your body, and that beautiful mind. Ready, set, grow. So, we're on the end of summer, y'all. A new chapter is getting ready to start. You can turn it around the moment you decide to invest in your life. Do not worry about your environment. Don't worry about it. Worry about you. Because the people that love you, guess what they do? First of all, they're not going to Sit there and watch you die slow. It's too painful. They're going to pray for you. And they're going to get out of your way. You need to get out of your own way. But ask yourself this. The people that are in your environment, if they loved you so much, why are you hurting? 
Mm-hmm. Why are you not grown? Sure, they'll show you how to get over because they don't want to do the work for themselves. So do you actually think they want you to do the work? Yeah. They want you to do because they know as long as you're doing the work for them, you'll never do the work for you. Ready, set, grow. Some of y'all need to humble yourself down. Get out of your way and invest in your mind and heart. What's keeping you from your happiness is your pride. What's keeping you from your direction is your arrogance. And it's written all over your face. It's written all on your body. Why you think you got them bruises there? Why you think you got them scars there? Why you think that pain won't go away? Because that's a stronghold. The devil thinks he already got it planned out. He already knows your life. And he already knows that as long as you keep going down the path you're going on, he's going to take it. Oh, you mean all I got to do is bring that Mr. Money bag over here that's, that's foul? She going to play the she gonna play the seductress, the temptress, and he going to give her a little something to fold? How much is your respect worth? Huh? If you don't believe me, look up the story of Jezebel. See what happened. If you don't believe me, open up your Bible. Some of y'all don't even have a Bible, but you got a smartphone. Get the Bible app and start reading the book of Proverbs. I guarantee it, it'll resonate. What I'm trying to say to you, y'all, is this. It's time for you to get out of your way. Don't worry about your family. Don't worry about your so-called friends. Worry about your life. And trust and believe, God will do the work. God makes a way where there is no way. The moment that you embrace him. Because he's love. And you deserve that. If you waste, if you woke up the same way you went to sleep, in turmoil, in chaos, in despair. Some of y'all laying right next to your bird. You know darn well they should never have been there. You open that door. But nothing keeps you there but you. It's time for you to get your life back and claim it. I know you can do it. I did it. And guess what? All roads that were broken will be made straight. All things lost shall be found your truth. And all things that are ordained for your life and legacy will be revealed the intended time, the moment you decide to live your life authentic and transparent because you got to understand something y'all every time you choose to lie every time you decide to deceive or manipulate that comes back to teach you what not to do you're not worth and you're worth more than that y'all you're priceless God's praying for you. You know I am. I see your worth. And for that, for that, for that, it helps me discern mine. Come on now. If it was love and it was blessed, why does it hurt so much? It's because you was never supposed to be there to begin with. Claim your life yet. All right, y'all. Love to hear from you. Be blessed.